Okay, guys. So uh, this is our last week for this part of this unit. If you guys had realized the name for this unit is Shaping Our Faith in God 1 because this is only part of this unit. This unit was a big one and I had to divide it into two parts. So then um, to close off this cycle, we're doing this first part, which is concentrating on transformations. We have then symmetry, reflection, rotation, and this week we're doing translation. And then when we begin cycle number two, we're going to continue with shaping our faith in God and just moving on into different aspects of geometry. So um, as I mentioned, this is week nine. This is the last official teaching week for this cycle, right? So now my deep hole for this unit is that... is that we may be God worshipers and image reflectors as we nurture our faith through courageously designing mathematical transformations. And that is what we have been doing so far. We have been talking about our image and our reflection before the fall and after the fall. If you remember what we talked about last two weeks um, with the image of God and how it was tainted by sin. Last week, we mentioned about turning ourselves and turning our lives towards God. And then now this week, we want to talk about um, a little bit about translation and how that applies into our biblical integration. Um, the biblical framework, creation, fall, redemption, restoration. We talked about creation. We talked about fall when our image was um, tainted by sin. When it comes to redemption, Amidst the different transformations we experience in life, we should continue nurturing and affirming our faith. So we should turn our life around to that di direction of redemption. And then now when it comes to restoration, those who have a strong faith in the Lord will exist eternally in Him. And we want to link that to our translation that we're doing today. Translation is basically just gliding, taking something and sliding it from one place and sliding it to another place. So now when we think about restoration and we want to slide ourselves, we want to slide our image back to the way that it originally was. So taking our tainted selves, our image that was affected by sin, and we want to bring it back to what it originally was, to that restoration. All right. So um, for this unit, we have talked about the objectives. We're basically going to be finishing all of these objectives this week i did not highlight any of them because if you would realize most of them said simple transformation i had the word transformation in them and that transformation talked about reflection rotation translation all together right so that's why i didn't highlight any of those and then now the essential question that you will be answering this friday says how can you change a figure's position without changing its size and shape so Thinking about what we have done and what we're going to be doing this week, you think about those big ideas that we have done so that we are able to answer this question. So now talking about today's class, we want to do translation and we want to do the vertical, horizontal translations, translations of an irregular and an irregular shape. And we want to do combined transformations. And that is one of our biggest activities for this week, talking about what a combined transformation is and how we can go about getting that image. So what I'm going to be doing is that we're going to be doing a review um, activity. This one, I will record this grade. So whatever grade that you get for this activity, then I'm going to record this grade as well. All right. So everybody understand that this one is the real thing going to be graded. You have um, one opportunity to answer this one. So you can only get one try at it. It is worth 20 points. Okay. And there you go. Click on the link, open the quiz, and 
at the end it will give you a grade and that will be the grade that I will be recording, right? For extra, extra points, please? No, not extra points, a real grade, additional grade. Like a grade in my grade book, not extra points. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so then if you don't answer it, then I'm gonna give you a zero. So click on the link and you take your time, right? Don't rush through it. Take your time and then you answer each question. There are 10 questions. Each question is worth two points. Those of you that just joined, click on the link that I have in the chat and you do the quiz. I am recording this grade, so I'll put it in my grade book. It is not extra points, right? It is a grade, an additional grade.
I'm going to give you guys four more minutes and then I'm going to move on. One more minute, guys. Okay, that's it. Um, if I do not get the responses to your quiz, then I'm going to have to give you a zero, right? I have 21, so that means that not everybody has sent it. If I don't get it by the end of this session, I'm going to give you guys a zero. Okay, so let's continue. Today, as I mentioned, we want to talk about translations. Now, translation isn't that as complex as when we talked about rotation and when we talked about um, reflection. Translation is a little bit more direct. It's basically just taking one object and moving it to another position. So 
A translation moves, it slides an object's fixed distance in a given direction without changing its size or its shape. So, um, when you talk about translation, you have a right angle triangle, for example. I'm going to take that right angle triangle exactly how it is, and I'm just going to slide it somewhere. I can slide it up, down, to the right, to the left, or a combination of those things. The original image is called the pre-image, which we have already talked about. And the translation, the new image, is what we call the image. That's what the ones that we're talking about. And we use the prime symbols, the A1, the B1, the C1. We always use those. In last week's work, some of you are not going to get full points because when you write the coordinates, the new coordinates, you don't put the little one on each letter. And I have to deduct points when you don't do that. So a lot of you are going to be losing points because you're not including that symbol in the coordinates of your new image and even in the graphs when i graph i put g1 t1 you are also supposed to label your new image in that manner so that you can see the difference between which one is the original image and which one is the new image translations may be described by their movement so there is not really you don't use the, the axis or any lines or anything like that the only thing that they give you when you are translating their sliding is they tell you okay you're gonna move five units to the right and two units down you're gonna move three units to the left and the five units up all right that's the only description that is given to you when working with translation an object and its translation have the same shape and size and face in the same direction, right? So we don't move the shape none at all. Not like in reflection when we have to flip it, the shape changes. And when we are rotating, we have to turn the image and it also changes. In translation, the shape remains exactly the same only its position has moved to another position so if you can take a look you have the original image the pre-image and then you have the new image and the labeling is very important if the original image is abc the new image is going to be a prime b prime c prime now an example and we're going to work with this right now. We're going to work with learning activity one right now. So as I mentioned at the beginning, you need graph sheet right now with you. All right. So notice how each vertex moves from the same distance in the same direction. If I am giving you guys a shape and I'm giving you this shape, ABC, and I'm telling you move this shape six units to the right, then I need to move each of these points. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Point B needs to move one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. And point C needs to move six spaces as well. And each point needs to move six spaces in the direction that is being given to you. When you have a combination of those things, they tell you move this six units to the left and then you move it three units up. We don't want to be doing two, two graphings. We don't want to do a shape when we move it to the left and then I do another shape when we move it up. We do those two things together. And we have to understand, and if you take a look at what is happening here at the bottom, it is a subtraction is happening and an addition is happening to the x and to the y points but we need to understand when am i going to be subtracting and when am i going to be adding to get these new points all right so let's look at the first learning activity learning activity number one which is this one right here Talks about transformation and constructions. The first part, you have one, two, three, four, five, six of them that you have to graph. Graph the new image. And then you have four of them that you need to describe the rule. Write a rule. Sorry, six of them where you have to describe the rule of what is happening. 
So six graphing and six rules. This is what you have to do for the first learning activity. We are only going to be doing the first one, number one, because I'm looking at the time. And then tomorrow in our class, we're going to continue with this activity. Is that clear with everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let me stop sharing. I would like for you guys to find my second screen, pin that to your screen. And you should be seeing a triangle BGT. Yes? So now, this question asks for a translation that says five units to the right. And one unit up. Miss, can I do it with pen, Miss? No, you cannot do it in pen. I will subtract points if you do it with pen. If you do not have graph sheet right now, then that is fine, right? You can do this later on today or tomorrow. Um what I want you guys to get right now is the idea of how we're going to get go from this point to applying this information and getting a new point, All right? So that is basically what I want you guys to understand today. So now let me see if I have another paper. All right, on. Okay, so what we want to see first here, let me change this one. Okay, so I'm going to be writing the points, right? I have point G, which is negative 3, negative 1. I have point P, which is negative 1, negative 1. And I have point B, which is negative 3, negative 6. This is the original image. Right? The original image. Now, I need to get new points for these ones. And what this question tells me is I'm going to move five units to the right and then one unit up. Right? This is what is given to me. So I am going to apply this to these three points. Now, hint. If you are moving to the right... You are going to add to the x-axis. If you are moving to the left, you are going to subtract from the x-axis. If you are moving up, you are going to add to the y-axis. And if you are moving down, you are going to subtract from the y-axis. So this is your little Bible for this week. These four things that I'm giving to you right here. If they tell you move the image to the right, whatever number they give you, you're going to add it to the x. If they say move to the left, you're going to subtract that number from the x. If they say move up, you're going to add that number to the y. And if they say move down, you are going to subtract that number from the y. Right? So right, add to the x, left, subtract it from the x, up, add to the y, and d, subtract from the y. So these are the four things that we need to remember for this week. All right? Everybody has that clear? Now, how are we going to apply this? To our points. Well, let's see. Let me get another marker. I have these three points, right? Negative three, negative one, negative one, negative one, negative three, negative six, and they tell me five to the right, five to the right, 
and one up. So I find these points right here. I'm going to talk about the right and I'm talking about going up. So those are the ones that I'm going to be using. So now to each one of these ones, because this is the X and this is the Y, right? So when it comes to the X numbers, I am going to add, add how much? Five. Add five because it says five to the right. And to the Y numbers, it says add to the Y. How much am I going to add to the Y? One. I'm going to add one. So for me to get my new images, my new point, sorry, of my new image, I'm going to use these ones right here. So I'm going to talk about G1. What is negative 3? Plus five. Positive two. Positive two, very good. And what is negative one plus one? Zero. Zero. And this is my new point. Did everybody understand how I got this new point? Yes, yes, yes. yes okay. So what is for T one? Negative 1 plus 5. Positive 4. Positive 4. Very good. What is negative 1 plus 1? Zero. 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 Very good. B1 now. Negative 3 plus 5. Positive 2. Positive 2. Very good. And negative 6 plus one negative five. negative five and now these ones are my points for the new image All right so everybody understood how we got from the pre-image points the new image points Yes, miss. Okay. So now we go back to the graph paper. This is the original image, right? That is given to us here. And these ones were these points that I have here. So now I am going to be plotting these points in purple that I have so that I can get my translated image. So now the first point is G1, which is 2, 0. So I'm going to find 2 on the X and 0 on the Y right there. And this is going to be G1. My other point is 4, 0. 4 on the X and 0 on the Y. And this is going to be T1. And then B1 is going to be 2 on the X and negative 5. 2 on the X and negative 5 on the, on the Y. Okay, okay. I did a mistake right here, guys. This was supposed to be 5. Sorry about that. This is supposed to be a 5. So then this is going to be negative 4. So my point is right here. That was my mistake. Okay. So now I have the points plotted. I am going to be connecting them. And please use a ruler for your ones. I am going to be doing it freehand. I am going to be connecting them. And there you go. So now if we want to analyze it even closer, it is supposed to be six spaces away. I mean five spaces away, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. There is five spaces in between. 
and then there should be one space more up. So each point should be one space up. Anybody has any questions? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So this is going to be and I wrote this one. This is going to be um what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. You want to graph the other five images and um can you unpin this screen? Want to graph the other five um that are there and we want to write the description for the other ones so then now on wednesday then we can start learning activity number two and that one is going to take us a little bit more time because it is combined transformations all right so what we want to do there is like you're going to do a rotation and a reflection together or a reflection and a translation together all right so it's the three things that we have talked about, we're going to merge them now and apply them to one image. Anybody has any questions? No, me. Okay. No, me. Okay, guys. So then that will be it for today's class. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day and take care. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Miss. Bye, guys. Bye.